Pheromone, oh. The hair, the makeup, the skin, flawless. The rest of it is a little, it's a little lackluster. I would, I mean, it essentially is a sequin bra, I'm assuming, with rhinestones. That's great. Um, it's a little predictable. I like the top. The top is cool, but I would have liked a little bit more drama on the bottom. I love her skin. Her pose is beautiful and feminine. She's another girl, like you said, that can get away with, you know, the body sculpting in person. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would expect a little more. It's All Stars, All Stars 4. It's definitely a simple costume. Um, there's, oh, there's a cape there too. Yeah, I know, I had to look twice. I had to look twice like to find it. Almost. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, it's just, I, I would, this is All Stars. So for me, I'm sorry, it's a boot. Okay. Up next, out of the drag shoot for All Stars 4, we have Gia Gunn. I, uh. Boot. <laughs> <laughs> boot. Ah! Um, you know, I'm a queen of thinking that feathers go with everything, which is not the <laughs> yes, truth. That's um, you. That is so, you, girl. But it doesn't all go together to me. I feel like with this, if it were like a, a long trench, mm -hmm. maybe, if it was like a grander coat, mm -hmm. I would totally toot it and I would love it. I don't know. I feel like there's something missing from it to me, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna Yeah, and it. the hair is a little pedestrian from my taste. Miss Naomi Smalls. Compared to the other garments that we've seen that are a little more over the top, a little more grand, but it's just not up to par with what some of the other girls brought. Naomi has a closet full of beautiful things that I'm sure we're about to see yes. um, on All Stars. This, in my opinion, is not one of my favorite by any stretch of the imagination. It's a boot. Yeah. Next we have Latrice Royale. What do you think? I don't love it. <laughs> I love Latrice. Don't get me wrong. Um, but you're like, yeah, I've seen that that kind of but this stretch is, gown. To me, I have the same issue that I had with pheromone. I'm not wowed by this. And you know, it's all stars. I want the girls to come through the door and me be like, oh my God. Okay, yes, that's why she's here. Yeah. Um, I love true. Beyonce, but she's worn a lot of ugly stuff too. <gasps> You're in trouble. I'm gonna leave you alone. Okay. I, the internet hates you. Sorry. Only you. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I'm gonna give uh, Latrice a two because I just think she looks beautiful and. And um, you're afraid of her. I'm afraid of her. I have to give it. She a, a big old bitch. Next we have Jasmine Masters. Mm. I'm sorry. That's that's a boot. It just says to me, business suit from the mall that you threw some rhinestones. Yeah, and on. even if it was like mid thigh length and she just was bare leg with like a sick oh, shoe. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, or just the pants with like a, you know, a singlet tank top. Yeah, with like, like some really suspenders sexy. or uh -huh. something. It's a little bit of a boot for me. Next we have Naomi Smalls. It's beautiful. It's mm -hmm. a wonderful color on her. Her hair and makeup looks nice. Mm -hmm. It's a little underwhelming, but you know, it's definitely her brand. I yes. would have liked to see a little bit more punch, mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. more like, whoa, okay, here's our winner, hands down. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to give it a boot. I feel like this is a boot for me. We have Latrice Royale. All right, uh, it's okay. I like the L, because the L kind of gives me like Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and boot this one. Next we have, uh, I don't get it. It's a two piece with some pumps. I'm not getting girl group. I'm not getting, uh, it's a boot. I'm going to say it is a boot as well. Lucky girl. That's all I can say. It's just like, meh. Really? That's your girl group look? Next we have Pheromone. Ah, it's a boot. <laughs> I mean. Um, yeah, it's a boot for me. All right, next we have Monique Hart. Um, uh, what you looking at, that's a boot. It's a boot. It took me too long. It's a, it's a boot. There's something that really kind of throws me off a lot about a, a little bit about it. First There's of all, so many like really good elements. The hands, the gloves, that's spectacular. Mm -hmm. The jewelry is spectacular. Her makeup, of course, is always stunning. The hair is great. I think I'm okay with this. There's there's some really great elements to it. Like there's this the, that beautiful beautiful necklace which goes definitely with the reveal that's underneath this dress. You like her makeup. I don't really love her makeup in this. I think it's like, kind of gives me like, Madam the Puppet. <laughs> it's, no. I, think that's, I think her pose maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not Something. arguing with you yeah, on that. Yeah, all she needs is like sticks right there. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's not one of my favorites. I would say if I went with my gut reaction, I would say that this is a boot. It's a boot. 
Next we have Naomi Smalls. Now, now you being a now. connoisseur of the fashion world, and you coming from a long line of cobblers. Am I? Am is I this a boot? Of the fashion world? Well, not this a boot isn't bad, but is that all, on her foot, no, foot it, a boot? It is not a boot. It is a gladiator sandal that goes all the way up to her knee. So therefore, it is not a boot. So I should boot this look. Um, I think from the waist up and everything else in the outfit, it all looks wonderful. But uh, it was a missed opportunity because there are other shoes that you can wear other than just a gladiator sandal. You know, it's unfortunate because she looks great. Of course, yeah. her makeup looks great. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, I love the ruffles on the sleeve. Very, right. like, avant-garde take on this whimsical kind of thing sure. she's got going on. But yeah, it's not a boot, so you get a boot. Yeah. Next we have, ladies and gentlemen, Valentina. Valentina. I don't love this. I don't know whether to give you more kava or to cut you off right now because I am I drunk? Is that what I don't it know. Is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I've know. had like I don't three know. sips. It's just. I mean, <laughs> look. Okay. Let's. Why let's don't just you call, like this? Let's just call, it's because it's. I mean, this is something you know. I would see someone in Paris probably walking down the street in, and it probably costs nineteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars. But is it, it? Do I look at this and say, "Oh my God, this is an all star"? No. Sorry, I don't. She, of course, it's Valentina. She looks spectacular. She looks spectacular in it. It's not my favorite look. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to give it a boot. Next we have Monique Hart, everybody. It's definitely a nod to Little Red Little riding, riding, riding in, in the, the hood. hood. In the hood. Little Red riding your bike in the hood. I like it. I don't. <laughs> Shocker. I mean, it's not, it is cute. Okay, it's just, it looks like a bunch of separates. It looks like, you know, these are the, the top and the shorts and the coat mm -hmm. are things that she had, you know, in her closet and mm -hmm. she kind of hot glued herself a pair of boots to go with it. But so what you're saying is it's a boot. Oh. Next we have the beautiful Gia Gunn, everybody. I don't love this either. What do you mean? I don't love this. Um, the boots look like an afterthought. Mm. I love, I mean, I like the boots. I don't like them with this outfit. No, I love it. I love a satin boot. I love that she can I love a it. satin boot also. I'm not gonna put it on with, uh, with a denim, Victor denim Victorian trench with cuffs and a Santa Claus belt. Mm, I would. I definitely would. I would definitely do a different top though, like add a top to it. Something that was a little bit more ruffly would have been really Yeah, like fun. white lace ruffles or mm -hmm. something like make it over more the top with a peekaboo on mm -hmm. the shoulder. Like puss in boots, little puss in yes. boots hat. Oh my God, somebody should have done puss in boots. Girl. Um, is it too late to put us on? That is a boot for me. My goodness. Yes, next we have Monique Hart. What is she? Help, the, help me. This, this is supposed to be a rose, so hopefully this is like a, a comedic take okay. on a, on a uh, monk type. Monk? <laughs> or like, what would like you say? Reverend. What? Oh, a, reverend. a reverend. Yeah, a reverend. She, she is she is very well versed in the in the liturgy, and uh, I guess she's like really channeling that. I'm not sure. How I think she... it looks hideous, but I'm sure it's probably hilarious. Yeah. yeah, that outfit is irreverent to me, so I'm gonna give this one a boot. Um. I'm gonna boot it for the fashion, toot it for probably, it's one of the funnier ones. Probably. But you gotta choose one, honey. Is it a two? All right, well then we're gonna, we're gonna boot it today. I think Monet looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love this color hair on her. Mm -hmm. The dress is not my favorite dress. I am, it's not my favorite dress. Okay. What is it that you don't like? I don't like the, it's obviously not supposed to be like a nude illusion, but it's kind of a strange, strange cut kind of moment. Okay. I don't know. It's pretty, but I'm gonna have to boot it for today. Sorry, Monet. We have Latrice Royale. Yes, excuse the beauty. Gonna have to excuse the color scheming, not matching up the way I would like it to. I but... don't love this. I love the, okay, how do I say this? I, uh, you know, I love, a. I see what the outfit is. It's like that stretchy, fringy thing, but mm -hmm. I feel like the stripes, because it's on sort of a nude mm -hmm. fabric, yeah, it doesn't, like the stripes don't give you that yeah, peekaboo. This is what Latrice is, is trying to bring it back with, and you know what, if she says, I I have an opportunity to come back. I know she does not want to roll an ankle or something during the stupid performance, so she is saying, you know what, excuse the beauty and excuse this shoe, please. Yeah. <laughs> and 
that's, well, I mean, that's fair. We're talking about fashion, though. So I so just, fashionably, no. No, it's not working for me. I just think that it, there's a major disconnect in it. I do think she looks really beautiful. Yeah. Next we have Monique Hart. I'm not in love with this. I think the, 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 the outfit itself could be really cool, but I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I like the coloring. Mm -hmm. I, I like the iridescence of it. I don't know if iridescent and the Josephine Baker banana vibes go together. And this hair, I like a nice finger wave moment, mm -hmm. but this is like volume finger wave, kind of weird. Looks kind of strange in contrasting to how like bright and like exaggerated the makeup is. Mm -hmm. It makes the hair look even bittier, but like, bittier. But, it, but, it's, but it's big bitty. I don't know, it's like a proportionizing thing for me. And uh, and I don't know. I'm not really in love but with I, this. But overall, I don't love this. I think I might like love it. Love the reference, mm -hmm, but it could have been executed mm -hmm. much better. I'm gonna give it a boot. It's a boot for today, but we love you, Monique. We've got Latrice and Alexis Knight. Mm. This is very classic Latrice. I love the big blonde hair. Latrice's hair and moment looks gorgeous on her. Alexis's, I think, proportionately work better on Latrice, mm. but it's dragged out. You definitely can't say she did not drag her out. We love a, a, a patterny sequin moment. Uh, Latrice looks like a classic, gorgeous gown moment, and uh, Alexis Knight's look is not my favorite. It doesn't oh, really have. See, that's what I was going to say. It's it's drag, but it doesn't have much of like a theme or like a concept to it. It almost doesn't even read quite as like glamorous or whatever no. to me. It's just kind of like sparkly, glittery, overdramatic, big hair. Yeah, that's the thing. I wish I wish that the, the outfit would have been like full length, just like Latrice's. I mean, if you're gonna go for a family resemblance, um, this this length on her dress is awkward to me. It's right above it the It emphasizes the, the shoulder moment that's going on. And the black pump. It's like a really, really slutty churchgoer. It's not my favorite. If it's gonna be a family resemblance challenge, I think that this is a fail. And I'm gonna say it's a boot for me. Yeah, maybe if it was a more specific themed look, it might have been easier to just be like, boom, boom. Yeah. So, unfortunately, boom, boom, boom. But I do love Alexis's hair, though. I kind of wish that I had that right now. We've got Monet Extra. Wait, pardon me. Am I pronouncing that right? Monet Ma Na Ow. That's how you pronounce it. And her drag daughter, Patty Cash. She is giving you, like, very gold Monopoly Man vibes. I love all the gold. I love their little gold jackets. I love that one's got a bodysuit and one's got a cat suit. But goddamn those shoes. Yeah. If you're gonna do all the gold, but I guess the black hair. Those shoes look like they've stomped all over the, those are like the industry stage, the therapy stage, the barracuda stage. That's a retail step. worker high heel. It's low and it's, I don't know, I don't really love this shoe, but the gold is fun. So how, yeah. do, we, how do we fix this? Like, Well, for me, uh, if I was being super particular, I don't love the two-toneness of the gold. I would have liked mm. like a flat gold, so it looks more like a disco ball effect. And because there's so much going on with the paneling of the suit and stuff, you'd be able to catch those crisp lines easier if it was okay. all just one one thing gold. and then less texture. Going back to uh, season 10, I think this makeover is significantly more successful than Monet did with Tyler Oakley. I don't. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about season four of Drag Race All Stars. I don't know what to think. I think that the shoes are a fail for me and they're really, really distracting. So therefore, I'm going to boot it. Yep. I'm love, sorry. Love because the from the foot up, but uh, you know what? We're, we're, we're looking for details here. Monet, I'm so sorry, Illy, but no Illy today. No. It's, it's a boot. It's a boot. Sorry, honey. Next we have Monique Hart. Rakatatitita ta. She's puss in boots. She is puss in boots. And it's okay for me. Yeah. Um, I love, love a glamorous hat. And that it definitely is here. And then I have some like rinky dinky. Uh, what's the place that's the homophobic? The Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby feathers. I love that she included 3D whiskers mm. and I, th I think a prosthetic here um, because I don't think any of the other girls really did the whiskers as well as the fencing spear that could have been a little longer. 
That, that's what I'm. That's that's my only trouble with this. This is a styling detail that's that's worrying me. And every and I feel like everyone else has done a better job at it. Mm -hmm. And I know that she's doing Puss in Boots, which is a very you know it's a fairy tale cat reference. But that hat should have been different. It should be folded. It should have been more of a like Three Musketeers tricorn. See, I, one I, I'm side a, I'm a historical completely up and of, one like, side costume. down. Yeah, 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 or folded in half so it like has that kind very, of very like Galliano y It's it's a frisbee with some with some feathers. Not the frisbee. It's a frisbee. <laughs> Feathers. It's a very large, large, large frisbee. It's a frisbee with feathers, and there's not enough feathers or something. It's, it's there's something missing for me in it. The feathers aren't. And, um, I think th those should be unbelie unbelievably big, unnecessary. Pheasanty. Yeah, something, maybe. something, something. I'm gonna give this a puss and boot. Next we have, ladies and gentlemen, the heart of All Stars Four, Monique Heart. Heart. And she is serving. A uh, look that is not doing it for me. So you're like that. This is giving You're me more like that than you're like that. E. I mean, this is a, a fabulous, I, I love this picture that she's giving us. The hair is super glamorous and gorgeous. I love this orange hair on her skin tone. I love this cape. It's nice and flowy and that's great for a live performance. But this outfit is just giving me kind of boring with the, um, the fabric choice. Doesn't really excite me yeah. and this is a step back for me, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna have to give it a boot. But neck up, I guess I'm not really mad. The neck up is fine, but the thing is, god damn it. There are a few themes that are in our lives as drag queens that matter the most, and superhero is at the top of the yeah, list. Yeah, it's pretty much up Wouldn't there. you already have had your superhero concept in your mind Did as you a Have you been dreaming queen? of since you were a little boy? Like Precisely. That's, this is, that's what, this is what I'm talking about. And Monique Hart, you failed in this look, in my opinion. Next up, we have the gorgeous Mona. You know what would be great is if it had a sleeve and a leg on it. Like, I think it was trying to feature so much of this armor concept that it's not working for me. I'm just gonna give it a boot. And that's okay. Trend alert! Segura viudas. This look is a toot for me. I like it. It's so good.